is up guys today we will be making a super cute and easy fall bow with this adorable burlap that i purchased at um at the craft store but it's really cute so you need your burlap ribbon your badabra also some bow wire scissors and a hot glue gun all right so this is really simple let's get started First thing you are going to do is fold your bow wire in half and place it down. Next thing I'm going to do, and the measurements here just depends on how large you want your bow to be. And I'm actually probably not going to measure, I'm just going to like estimate. Again, if you need a specific, you have a specific length in mind, then you can definitely measure and adjust accordingly. So I've cut a long piece, maybe about 30 inches. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to scrunch it, just like that, and place it down. And I'm trying to scrunch it in the center so that the two tails are similar in length. If it's not exactly the same, it's no big deal. But I want it somewhat similar. All right, I'm going to scrunch this in, place it down. And this burlap is pretty thick, so make sure you use your wand to help you kind of scrunch it. And you just kind of see how long you want your bow I like to scrunch and twist. See? And place it down. If this was just plain burlap, you would not have to twist it. But since this burlap is printed on one side, we have to twist it so that the printed side remains on the top. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this side. Again, if you wanna get a cutting board and measure the sides, you can definitely do that. So I just kind of estimate. So scrunch and twist and place it down. Just like that. It's looking so cute and adorable already. You could end it here and this would be so cute, but I'm going to make one more layer just because I think the double bows are so cute. Estimate, scrunch and twist and then place it down. We do not have to twist it this time because it's our last one. Then you just cut, crunch it down, and this is your chance to adjust it. Make sure you like how everything looks. It looks pretty good to me, and this is just estimating. Again, if you want to measure it, you can definitely do so. So this is about 15 inches. This bow is about 15 inches in width. So it's a pretty large bow. All right, take the wand off. Take your bow wire. You want to take the end with the loop and place the two open ends inside it. And I like to hold this down and give it a nice tug. And then I open it up, tie it again, and I like to tie it a couple of times just for extra security. And you can leave the ends like this or you can ribbon cut the ends completely up to you and you can leave the center just like this or you can cut a small piece of the burlap and place it in the center again I just like to roll it like that I'm just gonna hot glue it down
You are all done. Cute, sweet, simple to do. You can change up the color, the style, how many layers, whatever you prefer. Just make it your own. Now, something you can do for extra security is place a small dot of hot glue to glue both loops together. So just a small amount. Just so that it stays in place exactly where you want it. That's just something I like to do, but again, completely up to you. Just helps it to maintain its its shape. But yeah, simple, easy to do, takes less than five minutes, and it's so adorable. Again, this bow is about 15, 16 inches in length. So it's a nice size, and the tails are about 15 inches also. So modify the color, the style, the material, whatever you like to fit your theme.